Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for April 25th of 2022, well, it is titled The Great Nebula in Carina. So what do we see here? Well, this is the Great Carina Nebula, also known by the catalog designation of NGC 3372. And it is a very large star forming region spanning hundreds of light years and much larger than the Orion star forming region, which is a little bit closer to us and is a very prominent star forming region in the direction of the Milky Way. However, it's a lot further away, 7,500 light years away, which is much further away, many times further away than the nearer Orion Nebula. Now, when we see the nebula, we see a lot of stars in it, and we note that a lot of stars in it are on the verge of becoming supernovae, and that includes the bright star Eta Carinae, which used to be one of the brightest stars in the sky a couple of hundred years ago, and then faded. So the, one of the problems with learning about supernovae is that our models are not quite complete yet. So we don't know the exact details of what happens and it makes it difficult to predict what, when the supernova will occur partly because of that and partly because we cannot see into the star itself to see what is going on in its core. It is not the outer layers of a star that determines when it becomes a supernova, but the core. It is what is going on in the core. Essentially, for a star like this, the core builds up heavier and heavier elements up to iron where it becomes unstable and then implodes down and would then explode outward. So Eta Carinae itself is expected to go supernova sometime in the near future, at least astronomically speaking. But while that could be in a few years, it could also be in hundreds or thousands of years very easily. So we just don't know exactly where it is along that stage. And it is not the only one that this nebula is probably a factory for supernovae. And many have occurred in the past and probably many more will occur in the future. This is simply one that we happen to look at uh, at this point. But there are many other stars forming here. And when stars form, those very massive ones form first the ones that will become a supernova, and they go through their lives fastest. So they don't live a very long time, only a few million years. And then they become a supernova. So you could see multiple supernovae over time coming from this nebula. Although again, the time frames, astronomically speaking, are going to be hundreds and thousands of years. It's not that we're going to see one every uh, every couple of days coming from this region just because the time scales are so much longer. So that was our picture of the day for April 25th of 2022. It was titled The Great Nebula in Carina. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.